for a national uh, television audience uh, has been here. So very proud to bring this show along with Banner Promotions, Thompson Boxing, and of course uh, ESPN and Thunder Valley Casino Resort. Thank you to the United Auburn Indian community and our general manager here at Thunder Valley Casino, Ms. Dawn Clayton, for uh, making this all happen. And of course, uh, the promoter of the event, Arthur Palillo from uh, Banner Promotions. So again, welcome everyone to Thunder Valley. Just to go over some of the housekeeping stuff here. Uh, media is looking for their credentials. Uh, they can get their credentials here at the table uh, immediately after the press conference or the weigh-in and uh, just go check in with that there. Okay, fighters, I believe all the fighters have checked in with the Athletic Commission. If you haven't done that yet, please do so after the press conference uh, as well. Okay, so again, uh, huge event happening tomorrow night. The first bout is at six o'clock. Because we're on the West Coast, uh, the first bout will be the televised bout. It will be the co-main event tomorrow night featuring Miguel Gonzalez and Jose Nielsen Dos Santos. A great action-packed fight. And then our main event featuring Juan Carlos Burgos, who is 30 and 1 with 20 knockouts, taking on Yakabu Amadou, 20 and 4 with 18 knockouts. So two great, great fights on this card. Seven action-packed bouts in all tomorrow night. Remember, the first bout will start promptly at 6 o'clock. Will be televised by ESPN2 worldwide right here at Thunder Valley Casino Resort. Okay? Gates will open at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Tickets are still available uh, here at Thunder Valley Casino Resort at the, uh, at the uh, ticket center here at the Reward Center. Or you can also get them at Ticketmaster.com. Seats available at all price uh, ticket ranges. Again, we are expecting a great night of boxing, seven action-packed bouts, and uh, it, it'll be a fantastic night for Sacramento area boxing. So we appreciate everyone coming out here today. We'll give you time to get one-on-one -on -one with fighters after we bring them up after the press conference. The weigh-in will follow immediately as we'll get them on the scale. They'll have face-offs, so get plenty of good stuff. And any questions uh, whatsoever regarding uh, the media stuff, you can contact me, TC Martin, and uh, we'll take care of all of your, your needs. All right, so without further ado, we'd like to uh, get going here tonight, uh, the, this afternoon at the press conference. And as you know, Thunder Valley Casino is also the home of the Sacramento Sports Hall of Fame. I know many of you attended that, our inaugural uh, presentation and induction ceremony in February where we inducted Dusty Baker, Summer Sanders, Kevin Johnson, Tony the Tiger Lopez, and Bill Cartwright. And with us here today is uh, one of our inaugural members, and Sacramento fight fans know him very, very well. He is a... Uh, you know, one of our, our pride and own, and probably arg arguably one of the best fighters ever to come out of Sacramento. And I wanted uh, to bring him up here today to address you, because anytime we have a major fight card, especially a televised fight card, we like to uh, involve the Tiger, because you probably remember some of those great bouts that he had here in Sacramento against Rocky Lockridge, John John Molina, uh, Amanda's three-time former world champion and one of the greats of all time, especially here in Sacramento. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Tony the Tiger Lopez. I'm not that tall. Yeah, you know what? It's, this is an exciting time for Sacramento. I mean, if, if anybody's going to find out tomorrow, you, everybody here will find out tomorrow how big of a fighting town Sacramento really is. Uh, when you can break uh, gate records for California right here in Sacramento, which we did uh, since uh, Muhammad Ali in 1972, uh, we broke that with uh, uh, the fight when I fought Paez back in 94, we broke that indoor gate record. Uh, boxing is that sport is if you build it, they will come. Uh, they built a bigger arena in LA and they toppled that. So this is uh, a, a kickback to those fight days when the TV was there, ESPN was there. This is a great, great opportunity for Sacramento and for you guys to find out how great of a fight town Sacramento really is and still is. Uh, these gentlemen right here uh, look like I did when I was fighting, <laughs> like they're ready to go. Um, uh, I just want to say again, thank you and uh, you'll find out how great of a town Sacramento, boxing town Sacramento really is. Good, you guys. Thank you. And Tony will be available also after the press conference as well for some uh, one-on-ones with Tony the Tiger Lopez. All right, I'd like to introduce you to the uh, promoter of tomorrow night's uh, event, 
Mr. Uh, Artie Palillo, man I've known for over 20 years. This man is from the true fight town of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Has promoted such great fighters as Bernard Hopkins, Popo Fritas, Rocky Balboa. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's your promoter to talk about tomorrow night's main event and tomorrow night's show, Arthur Palillo, Banner Promotions. I wish I had Rocky Balboa. Hello, everybody. I want to thank you all for coming. Um, we're going to talk about all the fighters. I'm going to bring up Eric Botcher to talk about the undercard. First off, I got to thank John Bo. We're here because of him. And TC, who I do know from the 80s, late 80s and 90s in Las Vegas, you know, for the last two or three years, we've been trying to bring a boxing event here. And with TC's help and John Bo and doing something for us, and putting the fight outside. ESPN likes the idea of coming here, they love it, but it took a long time coming, and if it wasn't for John and TC, this would not have happened. So really, those are the people that thank. We want the fans to come, buy tickets. You got a lot of good fighters on the card, you got a lot of young kids, you got a bronze medal winner, you got number one in the world, you got guys all trying to figure out what they want to do with their careers, they're all going places. You got a young kid from Brazil, who thinks he's going to beat Gonzalez. Gonzalez had a come out fight, beats a world champion a couple months ago. So it's all very meaningful stuff here. So I want to thank TC and John for having us, and uh, we hope it's going to be a great show. Now, right now, before we talk about the main event full feature, I'd like to bring up Eric Botcher. He's going to say, he's going to speak about the undercard. Eric's the matchmaker. He's been doing it for, I don't know, 20 years. One of the best of what he does. He knows exactly what's going on. He knows all the styles. Ten times better than I do. So, Eric, why don't you come up and tell everybody what's happening with the, the uh, co-feature bouts. Eric Botch. Thank you, Artie. Uh, I'd like to uh, echo what Artie said. I'd like to thank T.C. Martin, who's been a tremendous help to me, and John Bo also from the casino. Um, I couldn't have really done put this show together without their help. We have five undercard fights. We're going to start at 6 o'clock with the television. Uh, formally, for a two-hour ESPN show, there's going to be two or three fights. So after the uh, televised portion is over, there's still going to be three or four fights, and you guys should stay and check them out. We've got a good heavyweight, we have a couple good heavyweight fights. Rauzan Colvino, who's from Los Angeles, but originally from Romania, who's 6-1 and one with three knockouts. He's fighting Alvaro Morales who's the only man to beat him. He beat Razvan in his pro debut, so this is a rematch, very interesting rematch, and uh, Razvan is gonna try to uh, avenge that loss on his record. We've got a, a good fighter from Stockton who's making his second uh, professional appearance. He fought for us May 2nd down in uh, California, Brandon Adams, he's fighting a pro debut from Los Angeles named Gerard Tennant. And we've got a kid from Russia, a lightweight, who's supposed to be very good. He's 11-0 with eight knockouts. His first fight in the United States, Fedor Papazov. He's fighting Chico Chavez from Los Angeles, who's a very tough customer. And it's going to be a good test for Fedor to see where he's at in his career. We have the uh, second heavyweight fight I mentioned was six foot ten. I believe he weighed 326 in his pro debut, Justin Gosley. He's going he's gonna to be fighting a, a, an MMA fighter who's had two professional fights, Ostatine Sinodi from Los Angeles, and this will be Justin's second professional fight. And we're going to bring Justin up to say a couple of words. And we're also going to bring Taras Shelestek, who's uh, also going to be in a four-rounder. Taras from the Ukraine was the uh, bronze medalist in the 2012 London Olympics at 152 pounds. He's now 4-0 as a pro, and he's going to be fighting Adam Elam from Texas, but Adam has fought here in California before. And uh, it's going to be a terrific show. We hope everyone comes out. And again, after the TV portion is over, stay for these other fights. They're going to be terrific matches. Thanks a lot, guys. Justin, why don't you come up here and say a few words. Uh, Justin is somebody that has a great future on the horizon. And like a lot of these young fighters and young kids, they have to produce. He knows he has to produce. In order to become what they want to be, in order to get there to the, to the part where they're making real money, real big fights, this is the process. And he has to learn his craft from the beginning. And he's willing to do it, that's what he tells me. So we're gonna find out, but I want you to like, say hello to, to somebody that we believe could be a player in the heavyweight division in the next few years, Justin. Hello guys, how you doing? I want to thank Artie for the opportunity. 
I haven't met John Bowe, but obviously I got to thank him because he put him on, obviously, right? Uh, I'm here to do God's work and go far as I can go. But before I go, I would like to get an Instagram picture of you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and figure that out. Ah, okay, I got y'all. Got two guys, and about to get two guys. All right, thank you, man. See y'all tomorrow. The next young fighter that we'd like to bring up to say a few words. Taras is from Ukraine. Uh, our company has a lot of fighters from Ukraine and from Russia. One of them you'll see on HBO rather soon, Ruslan Provodnikov, who had that great fight against Timothy Bradley. Taras is the bronze medal winner from London. He's got all of the makings to be a star. He has the personality, pizzazz, he has all the ability. And uh, he's been fighting once a month. He wants to be a star. He wants to fight the best. He didn't stay amateur. He didn't stay in that amateur league that they have in Europe. He knows that it's a real test to become a professional fighter and that there is no money unless you win. This is the only sport outside of baseball, football, basketball. They're all contracts. In boxing, you have to win. You need to win to make more. You get a good job doesn't mean anything. You have to win. So he put it all on the line, moved his family to America, so he can figure out whether he can be a star or not. So I want to bring up Vadim, who is his manager, our friend. Vadim manages a lot of the Russian fighters, Ukraine fighters we have. Vadim and uh, Taras, say a few words. You're going to be very happy with this young fellow. Taras. Hello. Well, uh, I respect the smart style of boxing, uh, which gives me a lot of uh, advantage. I know what you wait for me, and uh, all fans uh, of real boxing, I promise uh, to deliver a spectacular fight. Thank you. That's right. That's good. Because I told him, no more fights unless you learn English. And he's doing good. He's doing good. English is where it's at. So anyway, the main event, the co-feature. First, we'll talk about the co-feature. Miguel Gonzalez, Jocelyn Dos Santos. So, so, Miguel Gonzalez is, in our opinion, a diamond in the rough. He's on the verge. He's on the verge of being on HBO after ESPN. And everybody knows this is all a stepping stone and a building process for all of these kids to get to the bigger networks. In his last fight, he had a coming out party. Did really good. He took apart a former world champion on ESPN, and they just loved the fight. Now he's on everybody's radar screen. And he has the ability to be in big fights on HBO. He stepped it up. He knew what he had to do. He did not freeze. He rose to the occasion. And everything in life is rising to the occasion and doing what you have to do when you need to do it. And that's what he did. Now, he's fighting a young fighter from Brazil. And uh, I've been, had a lot of business in Brazil with the great fighter, Asselino Popo Freitas. And everybody else in Brazil wants to be Asselino Popo Freitas. And uh, this young fighter, Jocelyn, who I know through his manager, uh, Eduardo Mello, says he has the ability to become a star. I don't know this. So uh, he's an unknown quantity to me. Quality, quantity, unknown product. I know that the man in Brazil think he can fight. I know he knows he's in a very difficult fight. And he didn't flinch from taking the fight. So this is good stuff. I mean, he's a real good athlete. You know, he didn't say no. He knew he beat a former world champion uh, uh, in his last fight. And he said, I still want to fight. He wants to see if he can beat Gonzalez. He wants to see if he can be a player. And that is the best part, is when they are willing to do that. Because then you know you're making real matches. So first I'd like to bring up, uh, uh, and I apologize my, my pronunciation. I first I want to bring up uh, Jocelyn Dos Santos Silva. He only speaks Portuguese. Emmanuel Thomas will translate for him on his behalf. 
and he is quite the puncher. He's 26 and one with 16 KOs. First time in America, right? First time fighting in America. Came over three, four days ago, and what's that? Third fight? Third time in the US. Oh, and he thinks he could win. So this is the most important fight. So Emmanuel, you guys have to see the work. Good afternoon, everyone. Muito, muito obrigado a vocês americanos por me receber aqui nesse momento. E bem. Thank you to all the Americans who are receiving me here at this time. E poder agradecer a todo mundo que vai assistir essa grande luta. And thank you to everyone who's going to watch this great fight. Não tenho muito para falar, mas o pouco que eu tenho aqui é que eu desejo boa sorte a cada atleta aqui e que vamos batalha. He doesn't have a lot to say, but he'd like to wish good luck to every athlete here, and let's all go to war. So you know, the fight is live on ESPN, the 40 countries, and it will be live in Brazil. It, the show will be called by Eduardo Ojata, who is the blow-by-blow uh, -blow commentator for ESPN, but he's also the reporter of the biggest newspaper in Brazil, Folio Sao Paulo. So he has a, a lot on the line, because everybody in his country is going to see the fight live, which is very cool. Next, I'd like to bring up for you guys to meet Miguel Gonzalez, who we believe is a real pleasure to work with, and he's going to be a player. He's a real player, because what he did in his last fight was what he was supposed to do. He became a player. So Miguel, come on up here and say a few words to everybody. Hey, hope, hope everybody's doing great. I'd like to thank you all for coming out and supporting the um, press conference here this evening and um, hopefully come out and support the show tomorrow. As I plan on um, giving a great performance, what can I say, the time is now. I worked hard, um, like the promoter pointed out, my last show out was against a former world champion and um, it was a it was a war for the ones who checked it out May 2nd that's when it was it was a great battle I did what I had to do and um, came out victorious and uh, that was motivation leading into the training camp with my uh, cornerman Michael Stafford and Levi Smith uh, we, we had a great camp um, as soon as I got the phone call I left the city where I'm from to, uh, you know, those are the sacrifices we have to make as fighters to um, get where we're trying to go. Um, I like to thank KO Management. Without them, I probably wouldn't be here th today. Um, the promoter for putting out a, a great, another great event. And um, my team for just being there, supporting, supporting me, and um, giving me hell throughout the camp. But that's what we need for, um, you know, great true champions such as myself, and um, tomorrow night I will give you guys a great show out. Uh, I have a great uh, uh, opponent in front of me tomorrow who I did not take lightly, and um, I plan on uh, leaving out of there fresh, cutting the fight short, and um, coming out victorious. So, I, I mean, I can't wait. So, uh, again, I'd like to thank you all for being out here, and um, it's time for me to get ready for that scale and uh, go and munch out. So, I'd like to thank you all. Thanks again. The main event. The main event has Juan Carlos Burgos versus Jacobo Amadou. The original opponent for uh, Juan pulled out because of kidney stones about 10 days ago, eight days ago, from, uh, where was it from? Colombia. And he's legitimately hurt. Uh, a friend of mine who was uh, a leading promoter in Illinois, Bobby Hiss, I gave him a call. I go, is the Amadou available? And he goes, what do you mean? I said, well, Juan Carlos' opponent fell out, and I'd like to know if Amadou's available. Because I know this young fellow. He fought on a show for us with Bobby on ESPN in, uh, I think it was in Hammond, Indiana? In Spokane, in Spokane, so much I remember. But he's a hell of a fighter, and he's a big puncher. So Bobby calls him, 
like that, they call right back. He knows who Juan Carlos Burgos is. That's what I'm trying to say. He didn't blink an eyelash. He knows that he's the number one junior lightweight in the world. He knows he's been on ESPN, HBO, fought twice for the world title, won the second world ch title challenge on HBO, but got a draw against uh, Martinez. So he didn't say no to the fight. He knows he's fighting one of the best at what he does at 130, 135 pounds. This young fella, crap. If Juan Carlos takes him lightly, he's in trouble. Because at any moment of the fight, a puncher can lose the first 11 rounds and win the 12th with one shot. And that's the fight business, because you never know what's going to happen. And he is a very good, talented young fighter. He's very tough. It is a distance fight. And somebody can't get knocked out. And this is not an opponent. This is a first class guy that was in the gym training, being ready, staying ready for fights because anything can happen in our world. So I would like to bring up uh, Yakubu Abadu right now. I know him, I know his brother, and, and they're also involved with a star, right? Vince Vaughn is your manager. So, and he might be at the fight tomorrow night. So come on up here and say a few words because this is a really exceptional guy because he didn't blink an eyelash to take on the number one contender in the world. Hello everyone, and my name is Yakub Amido, and I'm from Ghana, and I've been living in California for like uh, three years now, and you know, and I'm just here to do my best, and you know, I'm really, really thankful for uh, this opportunity, and I'm thankful to God, I'm thankful to uh, Banners, and this really uh, a big opportunity for me, so I gotta take it, you know, uh, I'm always in the team, working hard, and hoping to get um, a big opportunity. And I think this is a good opportunity for me, so I gotta take it. And Joey is a good fighter, but I'm also a, a good fighter, you know. And if you don't um, fight the best, you can't be the best. So I think I'm really grateful to have this opportunity and I'm here to win and I've done everything I can to win and I leave the rest to God. So I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful to be here I love everything here and you know, you guys are going to see a great fight and I'm thankful for this opportunity. So we thank all you guys and I want you all to come and watch the fight and experience a good fight show. So thank you all guys for being here. And class act. Now, the main participant in the main event, uh, Juan Carlos Burgos. I am partnered with my dear friends, Amanda, why don't you talk to Juan Carlos? Thompson Boxing. Uh, we think that he's a gem. Uh, everybody in the fight business knows who we're talking about. He's 30 wins, one loss. Juan's got 20 knockouts. Like I mentioned a few minutes ago, fought twice for the world title. He's at the top of his game. He's in the prime of his life. He's 26 years old. He's there. He's the man. He fought on HBO Championship Boxing and Madison Square Garden, part of a triple header. Clearly won the fight, outworked him, won the fight, like everybody, but got a draw against Martinez. He is now the mandatory for the next fight. But yet he'll take this fight knowing that he has to keep sharp and he's fighting a real tough guy. So he is going to be in the fight that he knows it's a tough fight. And this guy can come to back. So I would like to bring up the number one contender in the world. And we believe the next world champion, Juan Carlos Burgos. Bueno, primero que nada quiero decirle adiós, yo eh, como siempre lo he hecho antes que nadie. Eh, también quiero agradecerle a mis promotores, tanto a Warner como a Thompson, que, que son los que han, los, las, las personas que han confiado en mí y para llevar mi carrera por un buen camino hasta el momento como lo han hecho. We'd like to thank everyone for, for coming out and we'd like to thank God for this opportunity and thank his promoters. Banner promotion and tops and boxing. Um, 
He says this is a great moment in his career and he's very thankful for this. Bueno, voy a ser breve. Eh, lo único que les puedo decir es que vengo preparado al 100%. Realmente he hecho una excelente preparación para esta pelea, ya que es una pelea importante para mí, ya que estoy en camino y en la búsqueda de otra oportunidad de pelear por el título del mundo y es una pelea importante y por lo consciente vengo preparado al 100% para llevarme otra victoria. Um, he's been training and preparing very hard for this fight. He's had a great training camp, and he knows that this is the next step in uh, towards another world title fight for him. Bueno, de mi rival no sé mucho, no sé nada realmente, pero me he preparado al 100% para lo que traiga, para llevarme la victoria y para dar un buen espectáculo, una buena pelea para toda la gente que asista a la función. Muchas gracias. He doesn't know a lot about his opponent, but he's been training very hard and is prepared for anything that his opponent brings. Thank you very much. So, that wraps it up. We're going to have the fighters do a face-off. I would like to tell you, I want to say it one more time because it is important. I want to thank Thunder Valley for having us. I want to thank John Bo for bringing me in and TC. I mean, they have a great operation. They do a lot of nice stuff here. The doors open at 5. The first stop live on television is the ESPN opener. So that's at 6. Then the rest of the other card will be afterwards, depending on how the fights go. The swing bouts will be to Ross and, um, and Justin. So I hope you all have a good time. I hope you all stay. Right now will be the weigh-in. First, we're going to have the uh, fighters in the main event at Pro Feature uh, have a, uh, do a, 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 a take pictures. And then we'll take it from there. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Now we need to move this. from there. except on this card. And that is for the WBO Latin Super Featherweight Championship tomorrow night. Miguel Gonzalez, right, Jocelyn Dos Santos. Right. Okay. Now our main event tomorrow night for the WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Championship. Juan Carlos Burgos, 30 and one with 20 knockouts. And Yakabu Amadou, from Ghana, by way of LA, 20 and four with 18 knockouts. Our main event tomorrow night. The WBO International Belt on the line tomorrow night. Got him, Yeah, I got him. All right, guys. We have five minutes, we set up for the weigh-in. 